started back in 19, around 1954, far, far behind. We started drilling. The first wells were, were, were just done by drilling without, uh, without any exploration being done. As in, there was no surface exploration. And then they were not very successful as such. Then later, uh, there was surface exploration and uh, better wells were, were found and drilled. And then the first power plant, Geothermal power plant, came into line in 1981, which is Olkaria one. Uh, we had that one dragged. Then we, we got we got the second power, the, the, the second and third unit in 1983. Later, then there was no big activities in Kenya because of the financial financial problems because it could not raise money to build the next power plants, although the wells had been drilled. So it took a big delay, and then in 2002, we got the second power plant after we, we sorted out our financial issues. Mainly the money, we, the money that we use is borrowed money we get from the World Bank and the IMF. So that, is, that, was the, the, that was the situation then. But currently, it is really as relating like we are hoping to have another 280 megawatts of uh, geothermal energy at the end of this at the end of 2013 because and most of those wells have already been drilled so we and uh, the the power plants are in the design phase they're being designed so we hope by the end of 2013 we shall be having the the power the 280 megawatts power plant on the other side there is a, comp an, a company that was made by the government called Geodamo Development Company, GDC, which its ma main intention was to as a relate the Geodamo exploration and uh, go ahead and drill. They are, they are approximating the Geodamo potential in Kenya to 7,000 megawatts. Currently, we have two base lots. The base loads that we currently involve is one is geothermal energy. That is, it is never switched off. It is always running because it is more efficient after drilling, drilling the wells and installing the power plants. That is the most expensive part. So the, the other remaining part is uh, operation of the power plant, which is considerably cheap and sustainable. So in that case, it, we consider it as a base load as we use it. Then the, the other part, we use hydro. Uh, then during the, the times, when, because of the weather situations, the water levels in the hydro dams go down. And when they are down, then we, we, we don't get much energy from the... Sometimes last year, we had to switch off some of the plants. So we had to go to thermal, which is rather expensive and especially not good for the environment. For me personally, it has been a, an eye-opener. So many things I've realized maybe we can do it better. And uh, we continue learning and we, we see that there are some of the new equipments that have come up uh, that it will be good if we adopt them and we can easily cut, cut the cost in, let's say, drilling and at the same time as it relate the drilling process, which, 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 which tells you that we are learning much and we are getting a lot of things that will assist us in, in developing our country. And uh, the things that we learn, because not everybody can have such an opportunity of coming here. So after you learn, when you go back, when we go back like to our country, we like to make a small training session so that we can train the others and so that we can move together, move ahead together and develop geothermal energy, especially in Kenya.